Oh, Ma, I'm making dinner. What would you like to eat? A nice thick T-bone steak, corn on the cob, and pecan pie for dessert. <laughs> now ask me what I can chew. <laughs> I'll start soaking the cornflakes now. Girls, you will never guess who was just on the phone. The real phone, Rose, or your farmer in the Dale phone? <laughs> Oh, please, I haven't had a farmer in the Dell phone since I was 50. Now, who called, Rose? Jerry Kennedy. Jerry Kennedy, the newscaster? Uh-huh. He's coming over to pick up his daily planner. I took it home from work by mistake. Boy, was I embarrassed when I showed up for handball with Walter Cronkite. <laughs> by the way, if you ever run into Walt, don't tell him he looks like Captain Kangaroo. Miami's most glamorous anchor man is coming here? Oh, I'm going to go freshen up. If his bottom half is as good as his top half, I'm in love. <laughs> Boy, the timing of Jerry's visit works out perfectly for me. See, his birthday is in two weeks, and the office is giving him a surprise roast. <laughs> so I have to come up with one or two things that I can kid him about. I can get away with it, because he considers me a good friend. Well, then why not tease him about his taste and friends? <laughs> That must be Jerry now. Jerry, I'd like you to meet my friends, Dorothy. How do you do? How do you do? And her mother, Sophia. Hello. Ma, you recognize our guest? Of course I do. The only man you've had in your bedroom after 11 o'clock since we moved here. <laughs> Jerry, I'll get your planner. <laughs> Watch this, Dorothy. He won't even know I'm fishing for info. You know, Jerry, uh, when I was a little girl, my father misplaced his daily planner, too. <laughs> it was when we were on the way to the state fair. Speaking of state fairs, is it true that you're cheap? <laughs> oh, my goodness, we have company. Just so embarrassed to be seen in this old thing. <laughs> Don't worry, Blanche, the dress covers most of it. <laughs> Jerry, I'd like you to meet my roommate, Blanche Devereaux. And Blanche, this is... Oh, but you don't have to tell me. From the Gulf Coast to the Atlantic, from the Keys to the Okie Finoki, with the 11 o'clock news, this is Jerry Kennedy. <laughs> well, I'm flattered. From the pit of my stomach to the porcelain of the bowl. <laughs> there isn't an evening I miss one of your broadcasts, Jerry. I just love that in-depth location piece you did on the homeless. Oh, thank you very much. My agent said if I hadn't referred to him as bums, I would have won a Peabody. Wow. So, <clears throat> Jer, uh, ever dress up like a horse? Well, not so far, but I thank you for asking. <laughs> now, Rose, I think I just better grab my day planner and skedaddle. Nah, you don't want to skedaddle yet. Don't you want to stay and have a drink before you go? Ah, uh, sorry, I never drink and skedaddle. <laughs> Besides, I have to stay sharp. I've got a handball game with Captain Kangaroo. Ooh, why, you devil, are you suggesting another time? Just name it, I'll be there. Well, there. Tomorrow, 2.30, the Empire Lounge. Well, sure, why not? I'll see you there. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Do it just once for us. Well, okay. This is Jerry Kennedy saying goodnight, and remember, wherever there's news... I'll be here. <laughs>